Oh, hello, hello to all of my Aries and happy, happy, happy Freedom Friday. In some parts of the world, it is still Thursday, but it is Friday in other parts of the world. This video is from the 14th of October through the 31st of October. So let's get into it. The theme for the reading for Friday, for Freedom Friday, this Freedom Friday in particular from the 14th through the 31st is love and kiss. Kiss is keep it simple, saints. Keep it simple, saints. You're at a higher frequency now. Now it's time to figure out after you've been inspiring people with that full moon and Aries. Now it's time to figure out what nurtures your spirit. And that's what we're going to talk about. What nurtures your spirit? So this is about self-love. This is about self-love. Let's get into it. So that's why it's labeled love and kiss. This last quarter moon that we're coming up on on the 17th of this month is in Cancer. We're not talking about any people that are Cancers that you know. We're talking about the zodiac sign Cancer that is ruled by the moon. So in addition to your reading, you're going to be hearing about your moon sign. If you have not heard, if you have not uh, pulled your full birth chart, please pull your full birth chart because I want to help you understand what really nurtures your spirit. When your universe is out of, out of alignment, Outside of your universe, you, it's, it's always helpful to know what nurtures your spirit, what feeds your spirit. So we're going to get into that. Here we have the um, the Ace of Swords. Make sure you can see it, the Ace of Swords. We also have the Page of Wands. We also have the um, Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, I want to make sure you can see it. All right. We also have the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. And also the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody is following somebody. Somebody is um, somebody's trying to couldn't. All right. This is this is all right. <clears throat> somebody is looking for approval from somebody like somebody is looking for um, some kind of great job, like hearing great job from uh, from them or somebody's looking for somebody's approval. When I, I can't reiterate this enough, Aries, you already have God's approval. You all are um, strong leaders. You all have amazing self-confidence, which I'm going to help boost that self-confidence by the end of this reading. You all have positive energy. You're brave. You're creative. You all are a very honest sign at your highest frequency. You all are courageous. You're determined. You're confident, you're enthusiastic, optimistic, and very passionate, right? So wouldn't it be nice to know what sets you apart emotionally from other Aries? Like you could you could know 12 Aries and all of you all could handle your emotions differently. And that's where your moon sign comes in. So you looking for somebody else's approval for something when God is saying <clears throat> you're staying connected to somebody that really cannot open your vault door. They actually see your value and you're looking at what, what you think they have, right? An example of that would be, I'm staying connected to this organization for what, like what, what the name carries, or I'm staying connected to when, when the organization actually sees you as the asset. I want to be connected to this brand when actually what you have what they need. You see, I hope somebody follows what I'm saying. It's like somebody is looking for the approval or something when really you're the asset. So you could really, you could increase your value because big money is trying to come your way. You're literally right in front of the vault of the things that you want. So you got some offers coming your way. You got a lot of good things coming your way. So if, you're, if your intention is to you know, I got to stay connected to this energy, even though it doesn't really feel, it doesn't feed my, it doesn't feed, it doesn't nurture me. It doesn't nurture my spirit. Then you can do yourself a favor and you can still be compassionate towards somebody. You can really still be con compassionate towards somebody, but you can also ask God, what is the true motive? What What, what is their motive? What is their motive for my brand, for my for wanting to stay connect, for following me, for connect. A lot of you all, let me, let me, let me say plain language for somebody who may still not get it because examples help. So just to tell you what's coming down in my spirit, somebody could be literally following you online and watching how you run your business, right? And saying to you, if we can attach our name to their brand, I'm talking about you, Aries, if, if we, if the business X 
if we could attach business X wants to attach to your brand Aries, right? Because they see that you could take them to the next level. It's like fresh. It's like a fresh blood, like fresh perspective. If we can, if we can get Aries on our team, then that's going to make us look much better, right? And in short, I want you all to stop lowballing yourselves and stop selling yourselves short, Aries. I hope that I hope that triggers something in somebody that's like, you know what? Maybe I am selling myself short because people are looking at you and they see you as a bank. But God said, I want you to ask God within yourself. This is through prayer. I want you to slow down. I know y'all are just like running because you all are the first sign in the Zodiac and you all can get multiple things done. But I really want you all to start asking God, what are their motives for wanting to be connected to me? What's their motive? Right? Why? Why they? Why they? I mean, some people you won't know is that are following you, but what is their motive for connecting? Now, here's the thing: I, I don't want anybody to get paranoid because if it's an even exchange, let's say for instance you have a product, um, and you you partner with them, it's a win-win for everybody. But if you see that things are not looking well for them, like they're sinking, then you have more leverage to ask for more money. Because your brand is not is your brand is not contaminated by them yet. So if you want my brand to be a part of your brand or partner with your brand, I'm gonna need X amount of dollars. But that's only gonna you're only gonna know that if you pray and ask God what their motive is. Because the last thing you wanna do is work that hard only to be connected with somebody who is gonna tank your brand that you work so hard for. Hopefully that is just as clear as mud for somebody, right? Again, you're very compassionate, but you got to ask God what people's motives are. Mm -hmm. Same thing as if you've been talking about coming into a lot of money. I, I got to stay connected to this person because I, you know, well, well, let me, let me tell you what's coming down in my spirit, right? Some of your kids are staying, some of your adult kids want to stay connected to you because they see you about to open up the vault. Your reason for staying connected to them could be, I don't want people to think I'm a bad parent. Somebody got to know their worth. And if that's not your situation and you get along great with your adult kids, wonderful. But if not, and you've been talking about, they starting to see you online and they starting to see things kind of pick up, you got to ask God, what is the motive? Because if the motive is sincere and they're trying to reconnect with you because they want to have a relationship with you, and it can be vice versa, it can be parent, you know, it could be, you know, your parents are following you and you could be the adult child, right? If the if it's sincere, they won't ask you for any money. None. They won't ask you for a dime because they're too busy building their own brand. They're not trying to they, they're coming with something. There has to be some balance here, right? So that's what I'm seeing for somebody because I see big money coming across your path and I want to make sure that somebody doesn't feel like they're being taken advantage of. This is where your intuition comes into play. And speaking of intuition, let's talk about the moon. We have the last quarter moon in Cancer coming up on the 17th of the month. The, can the sign Cancer is ruled by the moon. Your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. The reason why is because in early childhood, the moon is often governing the, the governing influence. So before awareness of solar individuality and person and, and uh, personal will begins take hold. So your moon sign is that feeling that you have about things when you can't even really describe what it is. You just got a feeling about something. That's your moon sign. I got a feeling about something doesn't feel right or something feels right, right? Cancer is the I feel sign. So um, so the moon is aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits, our moods, our emotions, our instincts, our intuition, what nurtures us. It is connected with self-care. It's also connected with our relationships with ourselves. So let's run down the moon. Let's run down all of the moon signs, right? And how you nurture yourself. So you will hear your moon sign in this. No matter what your sun sign is, you will hear your moon sign in this. This is this is for, um, this reading is for Aries, no matter where Aries is in your chart. 
But let's see what your moon sign is and what this means. And you'll hear this moon sign break down on every channel. I mean, on every video for every sign. So if you, you just go to check, just go decide to check whatever, you can go watch the video for your moon sign as well. But if your moon sign is Aries, it does not suit you to be held back or to have to wait for others. You might show caring by helping your charges develop their independence. If your moon sign is Taurus, it is a prerequisite to take things slowly and calmly, paying proper attention to basic needs. Touch is important for well-being. If your moon sign is Gemini, what feeds you is verbal contact, learning, reading, and information exchange as part of your daily routine. If your moon sign is Cancer, your primary concern is security. There is a deep instinct to nurture and protect yourself and others. Feelings wax and wane, but are very powerful. If your moon sign is Leo, you seek an active flow of praise and love from others. You may be naturally connected to your own creative talents or seek to nurture these in others. If your moon sign is Virgo, your style of caretaking tends to be practical, quietly attending to humble tasks, care over diet, exercise can be your key to well-being. You kind of getting this you kind of getting the message here. So please go pull your birth chart and I'm kind of going to continue with the rest of the signs, but please pull your full birth chart to see how your spirit is nurtured and why not all Aries are the same, right? Um we also have Libra. If your moon sign is Libra, um your you have an instinct to create relationships and may feel more at home in a partnership than on your own calm and peace are needed for well-being if your moon sign is scorpio emotions tend to run deep and holding on to hurts can sometimes be destructive tough physical exercise can be a way to discharge feelings if your moon sign is sagittarius you need room to move and travel around both physically and emotionally. The best nurturing is a feeling of inner freedom. If your moon sign is Capricorn, you may need a structured routine and tend to be efficient with your time and resources. Safety comes from feeling that you are in control of yourself. If your moon sign is Aquarius, naturally gregarious and, in, and interested in the alternative option, you might feel most at home living in a community. If your moon sign is Pisces, it can be hard for you to identify how you feel and sensitivity to others' feelings may cloud the issue. Retreat and time alone are needed to recharge. You get it? So that's why all Aries aren't the same. I mean, besides the obvious that, you know, people have different placements in their birth chart, but your moon sign really is just as important as your, um, your, your sun sign. Your sun sign is your identity and your create in your creative life force, but your moon sign is your instincts and your protection that need to feel protected. Right? So here's the thing. It's going to, it's going to, that is this somebody's going to have an epiphany an awakening right and but this is going to be at your higher frequency god has given somebody some time to really figure some things out here's the wheel of fortune things are expansion expanding in your universe listen figure out right now aries what it means to you to have certain people in your life i don't want you all to be paranoid or suspicious of every single person in your life and I don't want the ugliness to raise up in your spirit when you're saying this person's trying to stay connected to me because, you know, they want something from me or they, you know, everybody wants to uh -uh, go straight to God. That way you can, you can calm the spirit down. Remember, we're talking about the moon. We're talking about this last quarter moon in cancer. Cancer is a water sign. So take a spiritual bath, take a spiritual shower. That's where all of this information, this creativity is going to flow from. You can pray while you're sitting in the tub by yourself. Shut everything down. Listen to your high vibrational music and then pray. Ask God, show me the intentions of every single person around me. Because here you are sitting on your throne, wealthy in spirit, wealthy in song and mega rich. That's what I'm seeing for somebody. Lots of money coming your way. So you want to see the true intentions of everybody around you. Don't let somebody call, you know, causing you to feel guilty about a situation cause you to keep somebody in your life and you be taken advantage of all for the purpose of, you know, saying, well, 
the rest of my kids don't like me, and but this one right here is staying close to me, that one may not like you either. And that one may be sticking around to see how much money they can get, right? I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be realistic with what's coming through my spirit. But like I said, if you have a great relationship with your kids and you have a great relationship with your parents, because that could go the other way too. Somebody's parents could be sticking to them because they know that they're coming into a lot of wealth. And you may feel like, hey, that's the only set of parents I have. But is it if but if do you feel nurtured? The same thing could be, hey, with your with uh with your significant other or person you were dating. Why are they trying to stay connected to me? So you have to decide, is it worth it? Some of the relationships really are worth it. If you feel like, hey, you know what, I'm on the mend, you know, with with my kids or my parents or whatever, money is not even a big deal. I don't care if they if they if they're sticking next to me because they want the money. Hey, I just want the love of my kids. I want the love of my parents. It's not even that big of a deal. If it's with like, cause if it's with like you you partnering in business with somebody, and like I said, their their um, brand could be on the on the you know on the decline and yours could be on the rise if you figure that hey they want to partner with me you know we're gonna we need to have a talk because basically your brand is saving their brand so we need to talk right but like I said before um when you ask God what people's true intentions are it may be deeply disappointing. It may be deeply heartbreaking. But I'm telling you what I'm seeing here, what I'm seeing here, because when God exposes things, sometimes it is deeply disappointing and deeply heartbreaking. But this is God's way of saying for somebody, you have given somebody way too many chances to keep breaking your heart and keep disappointing you. At some point, somebody needs to say, it's time for me to get on my throne. There's only one seat on this throne. I need to get on the throne in my universe and live the life that I know that I deserve. Yeah. Yeah. I, I um, And the only reason I'm sharing this with you all because the person gave me, gave me the permission to share this. And I may have shared this with you all one time before. But I had a, um, I had, I had a client who... And this is, this is, I'm actually writing a book. So this is one of the stories, just pure craziness. This person, this person, this client actually bought a really, really nice house, right? Bought a very nice house and invited their family over to the house, right? I don't know if I told you all this one time before, but this client bought a really, really nice house and invited the family over to the house. So they said, you know what? Family is family. They, you know, sometimes they up, sometimes they down all over the place, sometimes whatever. One of the family members said, just openly said, I wonder how much money, insurance money I get if I fall down your stairs. So in alignment with what we're talking about right now, you got to weigh the pros and cons. When you're asking God, that was an example of somebody not asked going to God first, right? They had to hear it out their family member's mouth that even though the family, the, these, it, it wasn't the entire family, it's just a particular like small group of family members. Even though their energy did not nurture this particular person, they allowed them to come over anyway, thinking like the family would eventually change and say, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for your new home and this kind of thing. And the person is talking about what they can get from the insurance money of intentionally falling. That kind of energy. I mean, just something else. I mean, just the, the stuff that the stuff that I've heard over the years from people is just like. Some people would just be shocked. I mean, just would really, really be shocked. But of course, in order for me to, you know, like write, write a book, of course, I get people's permission. But that was and, and, and more of a more about that will be shared. But again, like I said before, you would be surprised. You, you would be surprised. Some of y'all won't be surprised. I mean, like really, if you look at if you look at some of the people that you work with and some of the things that they've done, like one of my clients was telling me like, uh. Um, and again, anything that I share with you all, somebody has given me permission. I do not, all of my readings are confidential, but, um, this person was working in this environment, this working for this new organization and they wanted to be, they wanted their name associated. Like it's, it's, you know, sound like, Oh, I work for such and such 
organization or whatever, work for this particular organization. The organization was the, it was so toxic. There was a uh, one of the managers um, got so angry with this person. They were standing over them with like a thirty two ounce cup of hot coffee. I don't, I don't mean, I'm not a coffee drinker, but I, I've heard people talk about like they, they have, they sell those at like places like 7-Eleven or something, whatever. But they, this person was standing over them with like a, a 32 ounce of, I mean, piping hot coffee in a very threatening way. Almost like if you don't speak to me, I may toss this coffee on you. Just madness, right? So, so with that, again, this is about you learning how to see your own value this is where God is trying to put somebody. And sometimes that looks like not only sometimes it looks like I can't take some of the people along that I thought I was going to take along with me. This person is very powerful. They're very well connected and they're very rich. So start asking now, God, expect, expose the, the, the energies around me. Show me everybody, family, uh, friends, whomever that's connected to people who want to go into business with me, all of that. Start showing me right now. I don't need any distraction. I don't feel like, I don't want to feel like I'm not nurtured. Remember, I just shared with you all moon sign energy. You don't want to feel like you're not nurtured in relationships. And like I said, the information is going to come to you like lightning. It's going to come to you like lightning. So you have to decide whether it's worth you staying connected with somebody or going ahead and releasing it. You have to decide that. Balance spirituality and practicality. Is it somebody who's a Pisces who's trying to stay connected to you? Because I got Pisces here and Pisces here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on, Aries? Is it somebody that's a Pisces? Oh, boy. That came out twice. Only way you're going to see something is for you to ascend higher. The only way you're going to see something is for you to ascend higher. You know, like I said, you can have compassion for people. You you know, there's a new inspiration, like I said, coming into your life, that new inspiration. You could go to a church service and a pastor or a priest could preach on something and all of a sudden it just comes to you like lightning. Or you can listen to my reading or another tarot card reader or whomever. Some Something is, some kind of inspiration is going to, it's like a light bulb is going to go off in somebody's mind. It's like, oh my God. This person is staying, or these people are staying connected to me because of what they can get from me. 16 reduces to the number seven. The number seven is in shape of a lightning bolt, right? I am perceptive. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker and your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's a there's a lot of information that's coming through. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So like I said before, um, somebody really has a guardian angel watching over you. As soon as you ascend higher, they're dropping information in your spirit. So please pay attention. Somebody who I mean, somebody who doesn't have an ulterior motive. When we're talking about like in family and friends, they're not going to ask you for money. There's too much money in the cards. Money, this is your time, is your currency. They're not going to ask you for all your time, just distracting you, asking you for money, all of this other stuff, right? Especially if they don't have anything to bring to like nurture a situation. But again, you all are going to be using your spiritual sense and, and talking to God. This is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate with you, please don't create something that's not there. Um, because a lot of different, a lot of information comes to me as I'm, you know, reading, um, reading the cards. But like I said, you all are divinely protected. You don't have anything to worry about. Keep your vibrations very high because that tower can fall either way. So the main thing is I see a lot of you all vibrating high. Your heart may be broken because you may, something may be exposed about somebody that's like, wow, this person just they just want they just want to stay connected to me because it's what they can get from me. But I'm telling you, God will keep you walking past this vault and you won't even see this chair. You won't even see this throne until you shake something, until you get that person out of your energy. Somebody is really, really, a, I mean, mm, don't want to call anybody a gold digger because people, I don't want to. 
A gold digger is not a man or a woman. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Somebody who's just staying connected to you for what they can get from you. So, yeah, it could be a Pisces. Somebody could have Pisces in their chart. It could be a fellow Aries. It could be a Scorpio. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, mm hmm Because they see expansion all over. It's like somebody... It's you know what it's like. It's like somebody um, befriending somebody that's that's know that they you know like um, that lost a husband or a wife and they know some money coming or somebody knows that you know you had a lawsuit or something and some money is coming across your path and all of a sudden they're extra nice to you they want to stick close to you or they know you know somebody they know that you you um, you have access to things that's going to help further their business. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so let's see what else we have here before we close out this reading. Let's see what else we have here before we close out this reading. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, Aries, I tell you, life is very interesting. But again, focus on loving yourself deeper and harder. Like I said, you can keep it simple. Keep it really simple. Go straight to God. Go straight to God. Because like I said, this being a general reading, some things may have hit for some people. Some things may have not have hit. But if you want specifics, go straight to God. If you want specifics, go straight to God. God, help me understand. I know some things are happening for me. I know I got some good things in the kitchen cooking. I got some, I got some money coming my way. I got some connections coming my I got a lot of things coming my way. I need you to expose everybody's heart around me. And some of those people will make the cut. Some of them, you'll be like, you know, they don't want anything from me. They're not trying to, they're not trying to get any money from me. They're cool. They're operating in their gift. They're not, they're not even trying to, you know, trying to get anything from me. And some people, you, it may shock you. You may say, oh, wow. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Thanks, God. Thanks for good, good looking out, God. Right. As God always does. Here we have two of coins, more money. I see you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. So like I said before, whoever it is that doesn't have the best things to say about you behind your back is going to be exposed. And so all you have to do is ask God what people's true intentions are. What people's true intentions are. Let's see what we have for your affirmation card. Let's see what we have for your affirmation card. It's so disheartening when your heart is in the right place and God exposes the wickedness in people's hearts and you go oh my goodness gracious like what in the world mm. and you say to yourself oh my hmm oh well i guess i'm gonna have to get my sword out and take my power back take my power back so ground yourselves get grounded because the information that's going to come to somebody is going to be real shocking it's going to be real shocking. Like I said, there's too much money in your cars. I, I need people to start watching. Like, there are videos, um, Aries, on, even on YouTube, when they, like, people who go from, like, you know, working regular jobs or not having money, they, like, go from making a certain amount to all of a sudden they hit the lottery. And just, and just watch how ugly people can get when it comes to money. OMG. Just how ugly people can get, especially if they know you're either you, you hit the lottery, you're waiting on some money or whatever. Mm, mm, mm. Family suing families. I mean, people acting crazy, setting people up. Just abundance. I'm telling you, a lot of abundance is coming your way. If we have affirmations for abundance, abundance is my birthright. There is a piece of pie with my name on it. Did somebody say apple pie? <laughs> well, no. There is a piece of pie with my name on it. Money flows to me easily and freely. I am attracting everything I need for this season. I let go of what weighs me down. Opportunities align with my purpose surround me. I am true to myself. I am true to myself. I am true to myself. See, some people are connected to you. They, they genuinely like you. Let's keep it high vibrational because I don't want to create any kind of I don't want to create any paranoia in anybody's spirit because God is going to tell you exactly who it is and expose them, right? Some people want to stay connected to you. I mean, genuinely stay connected to you because they really want to see you win. They genuinely want to see you win. They don't care how, you know, like I've seen people stay connected to spiritual leaders and they don't have the same kind of car, the same kind of house to say, but they are, they are, they're happy. 
They're just happy to serve. They're happy to stay in their lane and just be of service in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Everybody needs those kind of people around them. It's not about who making more money or who has more fame or whatever. Not everybody wants all of that. Some people just want to be, they want to be connected to you because they really want to see you win. As rare as that may seem to some people, people like that do exist. But that is what I have for you, Aries. Like I said, get to talking to God. Get to talking to God because if something if something doesn't feel protective in your spirit when you're around certain people, places, and things, or you're about to sign a contract for a deal or whatever, and something doesn't feel right, go straight to God in prayer. God, please show me what I need to see. Put some answers in somebody's mouth. Expose something, right? Expose it, whether it's good or bad. I can handle it because I'm trying to get to my throne. Death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, another thing that's coming through, and again, I'm not trying to be the grim reaper in this situation. I'm only telling you all what's coming down in my spirit because I know you all can handle it. it. What I'm picking up is that it could be, it's a feminine energy. It could be somebody's sister or it could be somebody's daughter. It could be somebody that's like, um, like, like trying to stay connected or it could be somebody's mother. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feminine energy that's going to end because somebody is absolutely sticking to you and they're hoping that they're hoping that you are so desperate to stay connected to them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Ask God who it is for real. Ask God who it is because a relationship is ending because see your heart was in the right place with them, but their heart is absolutely not in the right place with you. So look at, look at it like, um, you got to be very careful. Like if you just lost something, like if you lost a loved one and you're still grieving or you're, you lost a job or you quit a job and you're still grieving or any, any kind of hole in your universe where a person can come in and manipulate that. Just ask God, whoever, just say, God, show me everybody. I'm serious. I don't care if it's going to break my heart. I don't care. Uh, and let me make a decision because remember we're free creatures of free will. So that's what I have for you, Aries. Again, you know, I see you getting on your throne. I see you balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to money. I see, you know, you finding the person that you deserve to find. I mean, there's so many good things in your cards here. You just got to keep your eye on, keep your head on the swivel <laughs> when it comes to people around you because, oh my gosh, what in the world? That's what I have for you. And I'll see you Sunday. Bye.